Hello, my friends. I am Dr. Rafai, the virtual nephrologist. And this is an update about my reaction to the vaccination. I had COVID, clinical COVID actually in August of 2020. Then I had my first dose Moderna vaccine on the 24th of December and my second dose on the 21st of January. Today is the 30th of January and it's Saturday. And this is an update and um, briefly for a 48 hours period after my vaccine, I was uh, fairly perturbed and sick to some extent, had fever, had chills, but all that is gone. And now it's been almost 10 days since my vaccination and I feel like a normal person. I don't feel anything. I actually forgot that I had the disease and I forgot that I had the vaccination. The only thing I remember is that I feel great in regards to my concern and my worry about whether I'm gonna get sick again or not. But what I wanted to do during this video is I wanted to share with you a latest great study. And that study called the Coal Corona Study. It is about a product that has been on the market now for almost 200 years. It's used for gout and it's used for pseudo gout and some rare disease called the Mediterranean fever. Uh, the medicine called colchicine and colchicine has also been used by the ancient Greeks for the treatment of gout as well. So this is not a product that is going to be millions and billions of dollars by pharma. This is a product that's been on the market today. And this study was conducted by the Montreal Heart Institute led by uh, Dr. Jean-Claude Tardif. Dr. Jean-Claude Tardif had a study that was multi-continent. So it was in the Americas, it was in Asia and Europe, and it's 4,500 patients. And it was uh, randomized to double blind placebo control. Double blind placebo control to simplify this means that if I am a patient and I went to my doctor and I said, doctor, I want to be part of this study, give me a pill. I would not know whether I'm getting the actual pill of the medicine, colchicine, or I'm getting actually a placebo pill or the sugar pill or the starch pill. The reason is at the time, we did not know whether it was a good pill, colchicine, or it was a bad pill. And the purpose of using colchicine is actually to abort what is called the cytokine storm. So when patients get COVID, they do well if they do well, but when they get sick, it is an overwhelming storm of immune unregulated reaction. And that leads to the lung issues and the systemic issues and the sickness and ICU and so forth. So colchicine was used and it was double blind placebo control. So the patient could not choose whether they're gonna get the real pill or they're gonna get the sugar pill. The researcher did not know. So it was a matter of a very strong, well-designed, statistically strong study to demonstrate uh, effect that we desire to see. And here are the impressive findings. Study was almost a year and it was just published two weeks ago and it started in the beginning of March of 2020. If you take colchicine, 0.5 milligrams twice a day for three days followed by 0.5 milligrams for 27 days after you're diagnosed with COVID via PCR out of your nose. So if you take colchicine, you reduce your risk of being admitted to the hospital by 25%. You reduce your risk of needing to be on the ventilator by 50% and definitely you reduce your risk by 44% of dying. We don't have study this size, this strong, this clear. So this is, in my opinion, is going to be a game changer on, on how we treat outpatient COVID. This is now being examined under the microscope by professors and academicians and all the dedicated health authorities to see if this is going to become the standard of care. So if you get sick and this has not come the standard of care, take the time to ask your healthcare provider, your doctor, nurse practitioner, whoever's caring for you and ask them, would I qualify for colchicine? Would I need colchicine? Doctor, can you keep up and see if colchicine has been now strongly indicated for COVID? 
This is the only thing we have available today. It's a great product. It's been used for 200 years and it's been on the market for more than I can remember. And it is going to be a game changer. So I'm taking this opportunity to share that with you. Share it with your friend. Share this video with your friend. Share this video with your doctor. Share this video with your healthcare providers for them to know that there's a product, very promising. It is not a weak study where you have 10 or 15 patients anecdotal data and data that is not very clear. It's 4,500 patients, placebo controlled, so nobody knew what they're getting, double blind, so the doctors and the researchers were not biased and giving the good people good medicine and the bad people bad medicine. So there was no bias, there's no chance that this is a coincidence. Reduction in hospitalization by 25%, reduction in ventilator by 25%, by 50%, and reduction in death by 44%. With this, I cannot say anything but tell you one thing. Stay safe, stay healthy, and look into this. Share it. You may save a life by doing this. Some poor country somewhere on the face of this earth may not have sophisticated equipment and medications, and that's all what they have, and that can save a life. 44% reduction risk of death, 50% reduction of uh, ventilator. So with this, I wish you the best, and that was Dr. Rafai, the virtual nephrologist. Peace out.